Hello, I'm Leanne Tratton and I am a CLCV board member. And this evening, it is my honor to introduce my friend, David Allgood. <laughs> most, of you, most of you know David as a crusading environmentalist. And if you look at your program, you can see just a few of his accomplishments. I wanted to talk with you about a few other things I've observed about David. First, he is an artist. According to Menzies, sorry. According to Menzies, politics is both a fine art and an inexact science, which suits David perfectly. And he is a painter. Before joining CLCV, he ran a successful art gallery, and he's often told me that the art world prepared him perfectly for politics. But what I know is that David has incredible political acumen, and that and his artistry in politics has served as the engine for the change he's made in the environmental community. David is also a patriot. He served in the armed forces, and he continues to fight for our country, trying to make it a better place. 14 years ago, Hannah Beth Jackson, Sheila Kuehl, John Laird and a few of our other friends called a meeting in Sacramento. And they wanted to talk with us about an increasing problem, corporate Democrats, <laughs> 14 years ago. And we knew then, as we do now, that the only way to combat them was by creating a powerful, progressive political organization. And what was born out of that meeting was the California Alliance. David has been the heart and soul, the brilliant mind, and the humorist that has led the Alliance to a very successful seven elections since its inception. David is also irreverent and funny. He is the editor of The Crap Illustrated, so what would you expect? <laughs> and finally, David is religious, not in the traditional sense, but I found a quote on his Facebook page from Thomas Paine, and it goes like this. The world is my country, all of mankind are my brethren, and to do good is my religion. David, you have done good. Please join me in welcoming David to the stage. Thank you for the uh, very gracious introduction, Leanne. I, I just want to comment. I was driving over here today and uh, from uh, near the LA County Art Museum, my hour journey to get here. Um, listening to a story on NPR about some small islands off the coast of Panama uh, inhabited by indigenous people, and they have been inhabited for the last several hundred years by these same people. Um, the tribes there, the communities there, have to abandon their islands now because of climate change, and they have nowhere to go. Um, the government of Panama is promising to build them facilities and houses, but they have no sewage, no schools. Uh, no shops, no way to make a living on the mainland because they're dependent on the sea. We are running out of time to save the planet. And I have been talking door to door in the beginning, but talking about climate change for over 25 years. And we aren't going fast enough. And we have some people back in Washington, D.C., for whom all facts are meaningless. <laughs> for whom advocating for climate change makes you ideologically unsound. And they are perfectly see, uh, willing to see the world be destroyed. And we are surely on a course to disrupting life as we know it in this world. I say this only because I wanted to cheer everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> the reality is, is we can do something about it. California, people like Fran Pavley, Elmer Suchi, and others in this room, have shown that we can make a difference. They have shown that we can make progress. But what it takes, and Al can tell you this, what it takes is for people to show up on election day. And if they don't show up, people like Al Murasuchi get replaced with, I call them fuckwits. <laughs> um, and we don't need any more of those. We have a whole city that, uh, in 
Washington, D.C., they have an abundant supply. We don't need them in California. Um, the reason I mention this is because CLCB's mission is to activate voters, to inform them, to make sure they engage in the political process at every level, including the very difficult, burdensome, time-consuming task of casting a ballot every couple of years. Uh, that is probably the hardest job in the United States, is to get progressives and Democrats and uh, those declining states who care about these issues to actually show up on Election Day. And I've been doing this for 25 years, and I can tell you it's still a steep road to climb. And I would urge you, if you care about this stuff, and you're here, I think, because you do, CLCB is the one place that we go knock on those doors. We do make those phone calls. We do those campaigns to get people to the polls on Election Day and make sure they cast an informed and wise vote when they do. So I want to thank CLCB for allowing me the honor of working here for 25 years. Uh, allowing me to participate in some really amazing victories, allow me to participate in extending the electorate, extending the environmental message to communities all over California uh, in what I think is a very effective and meaningful way. Uh, we haven't done enough yet. We will probably not live long enough to do enough, but we're way ahead of the curve in this country, and if it weren't for us, we wouldn't be making much progress in this country at all. So. I urge you to continue your support for CLCB. I want to thank everybody for coming here tonight. And uh, Sam Clark and uh, folks like, uh, where's Sam Shooker? Hi, Sam. Sam, uh, and back back uh, when we both uh, had dark hair, uh, worked at CLCB. Rico Master Nanato has been here, I think, a little bit longer than I have, or was, began here a little bit longer. He actually had the sense to move on and do something else. <laughs> And then Sarah. Sarah's been here a, a great long time as well, and uh, I left with her my boss, and I feel like CLCB's in competent hands, and there's so many people to thank. Betsy Butler, uh, who uh, worked at CLBC, CLC, I almost said CLBC. <laughs> Just the most amazing people have, have uh, passed through CLCB at one time or another, uh, and it's been a real honor and, and a real inspiration to me. So thank you, thank you very much. all of our honorees. Um, I really think this was an amazing program. It was wonderful to hear so many great things from so many of you. And thank you for reminding us why we need to do this work. Thank you for reminding us why we need to keep pushing forward. And as David said, I really hope you'll continue to support CLCB because as Fran said, a lot of the candidates are not self-funded. So please help with your support and we will definitely make a difference. Thanks so much. Have a great time.